Hey family, it's the Mobile Home Diva and in today's video, I am going to be sharing the showcase by Destiny Homes. It's a 32 by 76, four bedroom, two and a half bath home. It's by Destiny Home. It's called The Showcase. And I'm so excited to show it to you. If you're new to the channel, I do mobile home tours, modular home tours. I'll tour any home if you wanna see it and if it's within my reach. So I'm super excited to show you this home. I love already you got three different textures on the front of this home look at the siding look at the different types of siding on this home it really gives this home character I think it's absolutely beautiful I'm just gonna do a quick walk around the entire house so you can get an idea of what the back looks like I I see a back door and I see a side uh, I see the double doors, great for entertaining. That's a plus in my book, really nice. I bet you say, I say that about every home, and I do, because I can find beauty in all of them. I love this home, these homes, these types of homes. And I love bringing you these tours, so. Again, this is the showcase by Destiny Homes. All right, so this is what you see when you walk in the home. I'm gonna spin around and let you see where I came in. So I came in from there, lovely home. I love all the lighting in here, all the windows, really nice. So this is, we'll call this the living room. I always love when the home comes with a ceiling fan and I always love when it has like a separation for inter the t entertainment area, especially when the space is big enough to put whatever size TV I want. I, what I don't care for is entertainment space that's too small for me to put the size TV that I want, but this is huge. You can put a hundred inch TV up here, really lovely. You've got your can lighting in here to bring in additional light over the TV. And then you've got these built-ins down here for additional storage. So that is always lovely, really nice. Now next to the living room, this is gonna be your dining room space. It has the chandelier over where the dining room table goes. And it's all one big room, let me show you. But you can really see, I know furniture's not in here, but you can really see just how much space you have to decorate. So you've got all of this area for your living room. And then under the chandelier, your table will go here in front of this window. So you got a lot of space in here, really nice. Now off of the living room and dining room is your kitchen, okay? Beautiful. Look at this tall, huge counter. That's what caught my eye when I first walked into the house. You've got all of the space as a counter, and then you've got this additional counter space here with your sink. So you could be prepping and doing the dishes here, and then your family's up here doing homework, uh, on their laptop, eating, just spending time with you, just talking great for entertainment. You've got all of that pantry space over there. Love the antique white. I always love the antique white versus the white cabinets. I don't know why. Love the glass backsplash. Then you've got the stonework, which is a nice feature. And now some people say, well, why do they just have the stonework over the stove? Like, what is that for? But think about it. You can do that same stonework um, as the brick underpinning on the outside of your house. 
And also, wherever there's stone over the stove, there's always stone somewhere else. So keep watching. Look at all this counter space. You have all of this counter space, all of these upper and lower. Y'all know if you've been on my tours before, you know that nothing excites me like having a drawer over every cabinet. Okay? There is a drawer over every cabinet. So you got more storage space than you know what to do with. Even over here, you got a drawer over this cabinet where your sink and dishwasher is. You got a drawer over this cabinet. Now, I sell my home and buy this one if it's soft closed. Let's leave. Nope. Got to keep my house. It's not soft closed. But if I was interested in this house, I would definitely upgrade for the soft closed. So very nice. You've got pendant lighting over the island. Super, super lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Good use of space in this kitchen. All of the cabinets, all of the outlets, really nice. You've got your microwave and you've got your second oven here in addition to the oven that's here with your ceramic top stove really pretty now again your living room and dining room you're at the sink prepping you've got company in the living room and the dining room and then you've also got this bonus room that you can entertain as well and this bonus room has the doors that lead out to you could put a deck out there so can you imagine summer times having a deck that leads to the pool like really lovely you've got another ceiling fan in here and you've got space for a large tv over your real fireplace really lovely really really lovely i love that they painted the beams in here i i personally love beams this is the first time though that I've seen it painted a light color like the floors in here. And I appreciate that. I love it. I absolutely love it. I think that somebody that doesn't like farmhouse would definitely like these beams, the color that they are. So really pretty, really nice touch. This is the only place that I see beams in here. So that also is another, they didn't overdo it with the beams all over the house. So really lovely. Let's go this way and see what we got. You've got this additional space over here. So you've got a half bath. I don't think there are lights on in here. Nope. You've got a half bath in here, which is a nice touch because guests don't have to use your personal restrooms. So you've got a nice half bath here off of the bonus room, kitchen, dining room, uh living room combination so it's convenient for when you're entertaining and then next to it you have your laundry room so your washer and dryer would go there you have another plug here that you can have uh a deep freezer that's your back door you've got a sink with all of these cabinets and counter space so you have so much storage in this house you guys so much storage in this house. It, like there's literally a place for everything. Now I'm standing where the washer and dryer is, goes. You can put a deep freezer here, but you can also use this area for something. So really lovely. Really, really nice. I love this laundry room. Super cool. Very nice. So back through the living room, let's go take a look at the additional rooms. So when you come to this hallway off the living room, the first room you get to is an additional bedroom. So we'll call this bedroom number one. Nice size. Again, if I have the sizes, they'll be on the screen. If I don't, you'd have to call uh the dealership to get that information 
but I'll definitely do the research and see if I can find it for you. You've got a closet here. So this is additional bedroom number one. Again, this is a four bedroom. So that's bedroom number one. You've got your second bathroom here, one sink. You got a transom window over the tub and shower. And then you've got this storage space here. So that's nice. Then you have bedroom number two. You've got a walk-in closet in this bedroom. Wanted to come over here and let you get another idea of what it looks like. You've got a walk-in closet in here. All right, in bedroom number two. And then across from the bathroom, you have bedroom number three. Really lovely. And then this is also a walk-in. Really nice. All right, who wants to see the master? Let's go take a look at the master. Come back around this corner and we'll walk back through to the master. All right, this is the master. So when you come in the master, you have this little hallway, go around to the left and all of this space is master bedroom. Lovely, two large windows in here. Like those are average windows, those windows are huge. Really lovely, really lovely. Those are the double doors that lead into the master bath. So those French doors will be right here. Really lovely. When you walk in, you've got a sink on either side and you've also got storage on either side. So you got his and her sinks. You've got this, love the faux columns. I love the look that it gives makes it look rich. The stonework continued in here. You can step up into this huge soaker cup tub and you've also got this additional storage space, this bookshelf. I always like to think about giving it a spa feel, you know, with the roll towels and the personal hygiene items like bubble bath and different stuff up there. So that would be super cute. You've got two um, windows over the deep soaker tub and they both open so that's a nice feature you've got your shower here your walk-in shower with a bench and it's also got the rain shower shower head so really nice really nice and it doesn't slide this door actually opens really nice across from the shower you have your toilet room and then next to the shower you have your master closet really lovely really lovely such a beautiful house you guys such a beautiful house oh and don't let me forget these when mirrors are medicine cabinets so you've got both sides that open and it's not just over here it's on at either sink so these uh, mirrors are actually medicine cabinets really nice so you got them on both sides for one hundred and ninety thousand dollars. that's the lot model of course if you order it you make any changes add some upgrades and things like that it's going to be an additional charge so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you hit the like button if you're not a current subscriber make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you know every time i upload a video i don't work for this company okay i don't work for any company i work for myself i tour these homes because i like touring them 
If you have any questions, pricing, specification, location, etc., all the information I have will be in the description box. You need to call the dealership, all right? Thanks so much for watching. Have a good day.